There are three things to understand about social enterprises. And the first of them is they are more complicated. Full stop. It is hard enough to run a business. It can be grindingly hard to get a business off the ground and running profitably. And that's when you have one bottom line to think of. A social enterprise, at minimum, has two. You have now doubled your pain. Congratulations. Running an effective social enterprise means you must not only run something that throws off a genuine surplus, and by the way, in this, to go back to our point about language, surplus is the word that has been invented by people who hate the word profit to indicate profit in an enterprise that does not distribute profit to shareholders. I personally think this is a ridiculous thing to do, but I find myself using the word surplus because everyone else does. But what we're talking about is profit. You know, the amount left over after ever all the costs are gone. The bottom line, you got this profit. Now, in a social enterprise, that profit does not go to shareholders, or certainly not all of it. There are many models of social enterprise. Somewhere part of the profit goes to people who've put money or time or effort in, i.e. owners, and somewhere none of it does. What you're doing is you're poaching the profit. Now, different models poach profit at different points. 